everybody welcome back to another video and this time I thought I'd do it in a different location outside because it's scorching hot out today um, <coughs> sorry if you can hear the cars on that um, but yeah this is what we're going to be taking a look at we've got the Halo 4 UN SC Cryo tube with Master Chief from McFarlane Tours. So, without further ado, let's get this back boy cracked open. Oop, actually, I'll show you. Side of one bit of packaging, side of two, and there's all the fun stuff on the back. This one, yeah, you have to open it from the side. Weird, I know. But let's place that down there. <coughs> this is the bad boy that we're looking at. The cryo tube. It's amazingly done. The detail in this is just phenomenal. Um, all the air brushing to make it look more stick and I love the frosting around the glass. Um, and to open it up is nice and simple. But yeah, let's just have a look at it. stand already built in so it stands up like that. Uh, you can hear a bell, that's my cat. <coughs> well, I had to pick it up because it was a steel. Uh, I checked online and these things was like what probably uh, um, hmm, I think it's about 34 pound. Um, and I got this from a place and they were selling it for, I think it was five pounds. Good one, but I had it in a box for a while. So uh, I thought, you know what, let's crack it open, see what it's like. And I was pleasantly surprised. Enough of that story. All you do is just push in on it. And it opens up slightly. Whoa, nearly fell off my chair. And inside, let's place him down. Actually, let's have a quick look in there. Look, it's got all the padding, things like that that you want. And the detail on this guy. I'm going to come down because I don't want to fall off a chair. Um, it is amazing. Like the visor, it's just the sheer paint alone. Is brilliant. Going around, and he comes with one of his guns. Sorry, don't know what that's called. But yeah, and it's got great articulation too. So the head rotates side to side. Looks up a little bit. Looks down a little bit. But then it's on like a pivot. Oh, so you can do that. Uh, let's just take the gun down for a second. His arms hinge up that far and they rotate all the way around. You've got let's take that way. Hinged elbow, but it's like sockets, it clicks as you do it. Um, and you've got forearm and bicep rotation, hand rotation, and it also hinges down. Same with the other arm. You've got rotation 
on the torso. Um, oh, boom! I've heard that's a problem with a lot of these. You can't push them too much. But the legs only go out that much just because of the armour. See how far forward they go. Not very far, just purely because of the armour. But the armour looks really, really good. So, you've got top of the knee swivel. The um, knee bends really, really well. The ankle is on a pivot. But then randomly, you get a toe pivot as well. And it goes up and down a little bit. Well, the sheer detail of airbrush and you can see why these figures are so expensive, to be honest. Let's have a look at the side, the back of him, the other side. Like I say, there's the gun. So, it's pretty cool, all in all. So, I hope you like this uh, video. And if you did, click that thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Peace out.